So Max, what's relevant about Waitangi Day? Um, oh, we get a day off school, sir. No, no, no. In 1834, James Busby organised a meeting between the Māori people and the European people. And that was to happen uh, on the 5th of February in 1840. Where am I? You're in a dream, Max. Who's there? I'm Batman. I'm sending you on a quest to find the relevance of the Treaty of Waitangi to the current day. <laughs> Max, did you know that all your friends come from different cultures? This would not have come about without the treaty. Now we travel to Buckingham Palace in London. The treaty gave us partnership between the Maori and Queen Victoria. This means her descent, the Queen of England, Elizabeth, is still the head of state today. Let's visit the Navy. The treaty promised protection from evil forces. This created our Navy, Army, and Air Force. Now to the Beehive. The events of Waitangi give us government and democracy. It influenced the political system we have today. So that every race can be represented in Parliament. Now we shall go back in time. Kia Oh my god, where am I now? Okay, is that you bro? No, my name is Hone Heke. When I grow up, I will be the chief of Ngapuhi tribe. People say I will be the first chief to sign the Treaty of Waitangi, but I will regret my decision. I will go on protest and cut down the flagpole three times. I rebelled against the way the crown treated my people. This creates a long history of Māori protesting the Treaty of Waitangi. Wow, your process must have done some good. We have to learn Māori the language at school and I'm part of the Kapahaka group. The treaty was a good idea, but due to the lack of communication, Māori rights died away. The treaty is a lesson that we should always have a better understanding of each other. Wow, that's deep. Max, it's time the for you to go. chief to sign the treaty. Pony Hickey! We haven't even covered that yet. What's up, is it real?